also, I'm kind of semi-dressed as a strawberry right now. So, and we didn't do this planned. It semi-dressed as a strawberry. <laughs> this, you know, this is a strawberry it's skirt. It's a strawberry skirt. Hey everyone and welcome back. I am Tegan from Half Day Tarvis and I am so excited because today we have a very special guest. We have Candace Nelson. She is the founder of Sprinkles Cupcakes, Pizzana, and she is a judge on Netflix's Sugar Rush. And I'm so excited because she has the best recipe that Aww. she's sharing with us today. What are you sharing with us? Well, this is my classic strawberry shortcake. It's in my Sprinkles baking book. So you it's guys. out there for all of you who have it or those if of you, you who don't. If you don't have it, you it need to here. get it. Because <laughs> I've also heard that her strawberry cupcakes in the cookbook are incredible too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Those are a classic as well. But I mean, summer is here. And so for me, that means it's time for strawberry shortcake. It's time for strawberry shortcake. And 100%. this is a really classic recipe but just elevated a little bit here and there and I can't wait to show you I, how. I mean the berries everything it smells so good. These are Harry's berries which are legendary here in LA. You can pick them up this time of the year at these the Santa Harry, Monica Farmers these Market. These Harry's berries <laughs> I have heard every single time I'm in LA all I hear about is Harry's berries. Okay. First things first Let's we're gonna macerate to these strawberries. They okay. don't need much work but just a little. All right. So if you wouldn't mind cutting those and yes, we'll add the sugar. Of course. And so you want them cut in half? Well, it's really up to you. Everybody has their own personality oh. when it comes to strawberry shortcake. But I would start by cutting them in half and then maybe quarter them. Yeah. Depending on how big they are. Okay. All right. So I'm going to slice these. Start slicing. All right. I'm going to get started on making okay. the shortcakes. Yeah. So just a few simple ingredients in these biscuits. Flour, sugar, baking powder, mm -hmm. salt, and of course, really cold unsalted really cold butter. butter. So what texture are we looking for in this dough here? You want the butter to be the size of kind of small, small or la actually largish piece yeah. will work as well. Um, I find the larger the butter is, the larger the flakes are. Well, and so. also like I feel like if you overwork it, it's just not, it's never as flaky as you want. And it's kind of dense then, yeah. right? That's right. So small peas is good. Small peas is good. Yeah. And once you have the butter all cut up into your mm -hmm. dry mixture, you yeah. want to add the half and half. Okay. Basically what you want to do is sort of mix this together really lightly okay. with a light hand. Mm -hmm. And once you have all the dry bits sort of moistened by the half and half, what I do is I start to perfect. bring it together yeah. a little with my hands. Okay. Kneading it Get just in there a with those couple hands. times in the bowl. The hands are your best tool. They I always really are. tell everybody like you can just do so much with your hands. It's amazing. It's amazing. You can feel the dough. You don't overwork it like you might in a food processor. Mm -hmm. It really makes a big difference. I just put all the berries in the bowl. Now, what what what's next here? Beautiful knife skills, Tegan. Oh, you know, <laughs> I try. Thank you. So pretty. So now we're just Thank gonna you. pour our sugar in to start okay. coaxing out those gorgeous juices. And what I like to do for a little, you know, bit little, extra, a little, little acidity is to zest some lemon in there and kind of add that extra. Can you ever go wrong with lemon You can't zest. go wrong with Never. lemon. It just brightens everything it brightens up. everything. And oh. so while these are macerating, I pat my dough together mm -hmm. into a sort of a six inch square and then I just take a bench scraper mm -hmm. and I cut it into six rectangular shortcakes and then I brush the tops with heavy cream and I sprinkle a little turbinado mm -hmm. sugar on for some added crunch. I, and I love the sugar because like like you said, it adds a little crunch, but it also makes the berry, or like the biscuits kind of sparkle, which yeah, I think it is does. really nice. Right, yeah. So these go in a super hot oven, right? Yes, 425 yeah. degrees for about 10 to 15 mm -hmm. minutes. These look so incredible, <laughs> Candice. I mean, oh my gosh, and I love the color on them. I love that they've got dark golden brownness and like look at the bottom. I know. So good. I cannot wait. But I, we're not done yet. We're not done we're yet. Not done yet. We need the crowning glory, which yes. is our sweet whipped cream. Oh, so good. And what's fun about this whipped cream is I use heavy cream, of course, but right. also add a little element with the creme fraiche. The creme fraiche is a game changer. It gives I'm it a little excited. bite, yes. a little extra acidity, yeah. and then I sweeten it with honey, which I know you're a huge you fan got, of. I'm so excited about this because I feel like hun people don't use honey enough as a sweetener, and it's delicious, especially with berries. Especially with it's berries. so good. And then a little vanilla. Always got to add that to vanilla. To step it up. And I caution everyone against over whipping your cream. Oh. I like to take the cream to really just sort of soft peaks mm -hmm. and then mix in the rest of the ingredients. You don't want to take it too far. It's I like it when worst. it's really lush and it just yeah. kind of falls over your biscuit. It really makes a difference. I think it really makes a difference mm -hmm. too. Candice, this cream looks perfect. I so know. I'm pretty excited. Can we like start building these here? Let's start building. Do you have like a special technique? 
Um, well, I like to saw it in half very gently, you know, sort of a la English muffin mm -hmm, style. Mm -hmm. You don't want to wreck all the nooks and crannies inside. Yeah. And so then you want to start with the strawberries because you want all that delicious, crazy, yummy juice to go soak, soak into, into the, the biscuit. the biscuit? Okay. And then crown it with oh. that beautiful cream and then top it. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I mean, everyone's going to be happy with this, Does it not right? get any better? Kids, adults alike. Look at all the cream on mine, too. You can see what I really like. I like you know, You're would you pass me a fork? Of please? course, Thank I am you. like I don't even know. I don't even know how to start here. Let's dig in. Let's just do it, though, Let's right? Let's just go for it. Oh my goodness. There's no right way. Get a little bit of that cream. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my, the biscuit. I got a berry in the biscuit. Is what I really got. It's crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's flaky. It's buttery. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, those strawberries are so juicy. They're just is. like. I have made strawberry shortcakes before. Nothing tastes like the strawberry Aww. shortcakes. I mean, from the berries to the cream, it is so good. You guys, I'm if you going. are looking for a summer recipe, or just like any time, honestly, make these shortcakes so delicious. Thank you for sharing it with us, Candace. Thank you for baking with me, Tegan. Oh my gosh, thank you for letting me into your beautiful <laughs> home. Um, you guys, make sure you check out Candace Nelson on Instagram, and make sure you check out her podcast. It's coming out this this June, right? Yes, came out in June. It came out in June, and it is called Live to Eat, yes. and I know it's going to be amazing, just Aww. like these shortcakes. So, <laughs> thank you so much, Candice. It was thank great. Thank you so much. What a treat. It was so much fun. Loved having you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now, can we, like, finish these, please? Back to business. Back to business. Mm.